What is up everyone, this is Kyle from the TF Review, and today we're going to be taking a look at another San Diego Comic Con exclusive. This time we're taking a look at the Boom Co. Halo Pistol 2-Pack. Now for those of you who've been living under a rock and don't know what Boom Co. is, Boom Co. is basically Mattel's answer to Nerf. And they're starting the line with licensed Halo set. And in this set we do have the UNSC Pistol and the Plasma Pistol from the Covenant. Uh, taking a quick look at the packaging, we can see it's designed to look like a gun case straight out of the Halo series. It's very well aged, very minimalistic. Uh, on the bottom it says ages 8 and up. Down here you've got some legal info, Microsoft Studios 343, Mattel, and so on and so forth. And on the front, you already saw red, blue, of course. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and open this packaging and let's take a look at the new Boomco Halo Pistols. Now, outside of the gun case packaging, we do have also a sort of a part two of the packaging. This is, of course, more of a retail packaging, and it does say the UNSC M6 Blaster and the Covenant Plasma Overcharge Blaster. Again, very minimalistic. It's got an open window packaging with the Boomco logo and a gigantic Halo logo at top, which looks awesome. And on the back, it gives you a little bit of a description, uh, and it shows you a couple of the other sets that are coming out a little bit later. Of course, the Covenant Needler down here is probably one of the most talked about of the new line. Up in the corner you do have a little description. It says portable and powerful. The combination of the UNSC M6 Blaster and the Covenant Plasma Overcharge Blaster make for a thrilling dual wielding combination or split the blasters between friends for intense marksmanship competitions. It's the best of both worlds. So that basically does it. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna open these up. We're gonna look at these brand new blasters. And it's worth noting on one side it does say UNSC M6 Blaster, and on the other it says Covenant Plasma Overcharge Blaster. Starting with the UNSC M6 Blaster, first and foremost, the obvious most noticeable thing is the fact that it is red and not completely gunmetal gray or silver uh, like it is in the game. That's, you know, done for obvious reasons, the first being they don't want people to mistake this for a gun because, let's be honest, it, it does look like a gun. But it also works well in that it, it helps distinct having two separate teams. So you're going to have a red team or a blue team. Um, in this case, you are the red team, the Marines. So you're going to want to wield a red gun. Uh, on it, we can see it's really nicely detailed. If you're a cosplayer and you did want to use this, you could just easily paint it gray and use it for, you know, prop reasons. On the weapon itself, it does have quite a bit of ammo storage. You can store two rounds down here in the bottom, and two rounds up here in the front, and of course you can store one right in the barrel. Uh, when you shoot it, and this is the fun part, you just pull that back, and you fire. And yes, these things pack one hell of a punch. Very, very surprised how strong these guns are. And I believe I have completely lost that missile. Luckily, you do get a few extras in the set, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. This thing just bounced and took off like a rocket. Now looking at the Covenant Plasma Overcharge Blaster, we can see it's roughly the same size, uh, maybe a little more bulk than the M6, uh, but it does feel just a tad bit heavier. Uh, we can see again, it's got a lot of paint detail, a lot of different colored plastics, which is makes it look really good. You know, white stripes, white details. Uh, and this also holds five rounds. Uh, you hold four down here in the bottom. And it holds one in the barrel whenever you're ready to shoot. And when you are ready to shoot, just pull it back. And there you go. And it's also worth noting, there's a lock, there's a safety mechanism on both of these weapons. If there's no ammo, the trigger will not pull. So right now, it is in safety mode. The second you put this in, you can shoot it, which is a really cool safety feature. Also, it's worth noting real quick that I have massive bare hands, and this thing fits really nice. That should be a testament to the size and, you know, overall how they feel. They're a great size, and they feel really good in the hands. Also included in this set is this little target. I had to lower the f-stop on my camera because it was just showing up as pure white. Um, so you could see it. And basically what it is, is it's a little sticky target. So when you, you know, you don't have any friends or anything, you just shoot it. And it, well, it should stick. Um, obviously, this isn't the most firm background. Let me see if I can find a better target. So I've gone ahead and I've put this target right here on this little thing. And I might be too close, but we're going to see how well this works. And it's too close. <laughs> Basically, what you're supposed to do is it's supposed to stick to that. 
And one last demonstration, I'm going to shoot it uh, where I have a little more room. This is uh, my dining room, and this screen is about 10 to 15 feet away. So these things do pack quite a punch for just, you know, a little toy. So anyway, that does it for this look at the brand new Boomco Halo Pistol 2-Pack from San Diego Comic-Con. Color me very impressed with the overall quality. Uh, these feel really nice in the hand for just little, what is essentially a Nerf blaster. The shells or the rounds, as they like to call them, they're basically like a straw material. They're not the, the same foam that you get. Uh, and they do have kind of a sticky, rubbery surface, so they get a lot of speed when they're being shot. Uh, and these do shoot a little bit faster than Nerf, in my opinion. So you do got to be careful when you're using them because they're, you know, they are rigid and they go fast, as you could see earlier in this video. Uh, they're a lot of fun. If you're into, you know, toy blasters and whatnot, I would definitely recommend uh, trying these out at least and seeing if you like them. Some people might not be interested in the whole licensed Halo thing, but I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and both of these are very good, very well made, very solid toys. So, I recommend picking them up when they are eventually released later this year. You can definitely count on me getting the Needler because that is going to be freaking awesome. So anyway, that does it for this video review of the brand new Mattel Boom Co. Halo Pistol Set from San Diego Comic Con. Thank you guys so much for watching. I've got a ton more Comic Con videos in the works. I hope you're looking forward to them as much as I am looking forward to bringing them to you. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.